This is a, a tradition. This is six years in the making. Uh, four years. This is the fourth year of this other tradition. Uh, uh, first couple of years, uh, we had one kid. He could not stay up this late uh, to be on the show. Uh, now we got two kids who are too young to stay up this late. But now for the fourth year in a row, uh, we have dressed uh, up all of our existing children, whether it's one or two, in turkey costumes. And our dog, Frisbee, as a pilgrim. And here is uh, two turkeys and a pilgrim. Now, um, we obviously uh, will send videos. Uh, face you FaceTime with the boys. Uh, you sent a video to Ash. Uh, he's still a little traumatized. Uh, yeah, well, so am I. Yeah. Um, we explain first where you were. Don't quite explain what happened in the video. We'll let that be sure. a Sure. Well, my, uh, my girlfriend's an equestrian, and she works at a barn uh, in Malibu. And because of the fires, they had evacuated a couple camels and brought them to this barn. Yeah. Um, and I was like, well, I'll take a video for Ash of these camels and send it to him. Yeah. And I think that was good instinct. I think, you know, kids like seeing animals they've never seen before like camels. Yeah, uh, I like seeing animals. Yeah, like every, seeing I mean, I think everybody gets pretty excited when they see a camel. You see a camel. Uh, I hope you're excited. Yeah. Yeah. But let's see what Ash saw. Hey, Ash, I came to this barn and there's this camel. <laughs> <laughs> so, safe to say, he will not. Yeah, he will not. Uh, he will not be engaging with camels much. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, well, it was a, in a lot of ways. It was a warning. It was a warning. Yeah. And now every time he sees a camel in New York City, he turns and goes the <laughs> other way. We've talked a lot uh, uh, before Ash was born about what you guys had big plans of what you were going to be called as grandparents. Right. Uh, you wanted a Swedish grandmother name? Yes, Mormor. Right. Mormor is what you wanted. And you wanted to be called? Cisco. Yeah, Cisco. <laughs> yeah. And uh, uh, the, it didn't take. Neither of them really took. No. no. But then you ended up with a, a grandparent names that I think are almost, I mean, equally as unique as Mormor and Cisco. Oh, better. Yeah. Which is uh, early on, he couldn't say uh, grandparents. He couldn't say grandpa or grandma. And so instead he said, Panka. Uh, I was Paka. Paka Yeri. Panka. Panka. Panka Yeri. And uh, I'm Paka Hurry. Panka Hurry. Panka Hurry. Panka Hurry. <laughs> Which seems like some weird Eastern European <laughs> grandma, grandpa name. Right. But he refers to you collectively as the Pankas. Yes. <laughs> and uh, it's pretty great. Because, it is pretty great. Yeah. Well, because when people overhear him saying, like, you know, where, oh, the Pankas are coming, <laughs> I think people picture some real old world. <laughs> like the Cossacks or something. Yeah, the Cossacks. Yeah. Like that you're going to show up with, oh, like, pulling, yes. pulling a cart behind you. <laughs> yeah, Pankas, they will be here later tonight. <laughs> yes. Lady Panka, man Panka. It's good. It's good. Yeah, good Pankas. Full moon is good omen for Pankas. <laughs> It's very exciting, though, because uh, it's really fun when you have to explain to people uh, the origin of it. Yeah. Um, and, uh, I, I, you know, and again, like, I am heartbroken that you're not more and more, and I'm pretty psyched that you're not Cisco. <laughs> <laughs> well, someday Josh may have children. We have another <laughs> shot at it. <laughs> um, there is one thing, you know, having two boys, uh, and, and our kids are uh, exactly the same amount of time apart as you and I. Two, two years, years and 11 days. Yeah. Which is crazy. Um, and I hope that, uh, you know, obviously my hope is that they'll be as good of friends as we are. There is one thing uh, that I hope will not be the case, which is that uh, Axel, the younger one like you, will not sell out his older brother the way you did time and time again when we were growing up. <laughs> most famously, I, I, most we famously... Like, we like rules. We like rules in our family. We I had, a, I had a, a serious orthodonture in my youth, <laughs> up to and including a headgear that I had to wear at night. Yeah. <laughs> There was no Invisalign. No, back in the day. <laughs> Invisalign was not a thing. There was heavy gear. And, um, and it was, uh, I was not getting, we were not getting the results we wanted from my orthodonture. No, the orthodontist was berating me. Yeah. He said, the, implying that I wasn't, uh, you know, exercising Vigilant enough, enough. Yes. parental control. How'd you take that? I didn't take it. Yeah. <laughs> to the point that to, um, basically, to encourage me to wear my headgear, 
uh, you offered Josh money. Yes. If he could catch me sleeping without it. Yes. Because Josh, when he was little, he would do anything for money. <laughs> and so I said that if Josh could catch Seth without his headgear, Seth would have to pay him a dollar. Yeah. And you pay. Wasn't, wasn't, yeah, I would come out of my allowance. It yeah. wasn't headgear. What did we call that? Right. We, again, from the family that brought you Pankas, we, <laughs> we called my headgear my gummy. A gummy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and Josh, what was your, uh, who were you employed by in these years? Uh, the gummy patrol. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was the gummy patrol working for a, a shadow organization who I can't. <laughs> Confirm or deny who it was. And so, can you give a, just give a normal take of how the Gummy Patrol would work and how it would go for me? Well, I would see my target. Yep. Brushing his teeth. Yeah. And I would go into his room and hide in the closet yeah. or under the bed. Yeah. Uh, in or a drawer. In a drawer. Yeah. I, was, I was really small. Under the desk. And then, as soon as the lights would go out, and it was confirmed that my target was supposed to be sleeping, I would pop out and scream, Gummy Patrol! <laughs> Which would be heard by them in their room, and yeah. then it would be like, dollar. And I do want to uh, stress all these years later, um, the trauma for me doesn't come from losing a dollar. <laughs> the trauma comes from you jumping out of my closet. <laughs> and screaming gummy patrol. And to this day, <laughs> I can't sleep without a nightlight, a full-grown man. Well, you're on television. Your teeth are pretty straight. <laughs> I don't know if they would be without me, so I feel like... This is a very good point. Hillary, Larry, and John Myers, everybody...